Welcome back guys. Hey, today we're gonna do the one year review on this item. This is the gear shift extender. Helps you to just shift gears a little bit more easily. This was installed on this bike one year ago, last summer. Uh, rode all season long. And now we're back on the trails for a new year. So it's a perfect time to see how it's held up. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Kerwin and I make accessories for the Can-Am motorcycles. Let's get into this review. So here's a close up view. Like I said, this has been on for almost a year now. After I manufacture these, I send them out to a company that does what's called anodizing. So it's not paint, it's not powder coat. It's a really nice black process, some kind of finish that holds up really well. So this will not get scratched up easily and it won't flake off and look like crap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uninstall this one. And the way I'm gonna do that is you just pull this plastic plug off of the end, okay? And if you look down in there, let's see if we can find it. <laughs> All right, right there. If you look down in there, you can see the uh, Phillips head for the stainless steel screw that holds that in place. So let's get that out of there. All right, guys, when you get the new package, it comes with uh, this sheet. So just make sure that you scan the QR code for me. Um, that allows you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already. It's definitely worth doing. There are discounts on shipping and things like that for our YouTube subscribers throughout the year. The product comes like this. Um, you're gonna get a form that talks about your two ways to install the package, to install the uh, gear shift extender. And the installation is written right here on the outside of the envelope. So there is no plastic waste associated with this. Uh, so make sure you just read the three simple steps. When you open the package, you will get your new stainless steel screw. Okay, and it does have the blue Loctite on it so that uh, it won't vibrate loose. In this spot, if you don't have one of these already, um, you will have this factory screw, okay? So you're just gonna remove that. Uh, it's one of those fancy star-shaped um, bits, all right? It's called a T27 uh, torque bit. So just remove that. And the new item comes like this, okay? Uh, it comes in two pieces. There's that plastic plug and you have this end that screws on. Now when I manufacture these, I made them in two pieces because it turns out after anodizing, uh, these two pieces will fuse together and that bond is actually stronger than if I made this as one solid tube. So what you wanna do is you wanna unscrew it and you're gonna find this gray stuff on there. That prevents the two metals from fusing together. Clean that off. Um, that's the way I recommend doing it so that you get a nice strong bond between these two, okay? Take your new screw, pop it in there, and then just screw that right on. Like I said, that blue Loctite will stop all of this from uh, vibrating loose on you. Now, this piece of paper that's in the package talks about if you don't remove this gray stuff, um, you're going to have to check and just retighten this periodically 
to make sure it doesn't vibrate off. Um, but for me, I like to remove it. And like I said, if I have to take it off, maybe if I upgrade the bike, you don't want to rebuy all of these accessories. You just take this plug off, get to the screw, and put it on your new bike. Make sure that's tight, and that's it. We're done with the installation. You don't have to adjust the factory settings on the gear shifter, and you don't have to take off any body panels. That is it for the installation. Super easy, and it's gonna help you when you're out there riding. Now, that Spider RSS is not built for the trails, but I tell you what, she definitely holds her own out here. As for that Can-Am Riker, it loves the dirt. No matter how you ride, guys, just be safe. And I hope to see you in the next video.